And welcome to The Bottom Line, where we bring in top experts to break down the most pressing economic and business stories of the day. And I'm pleased to welcome Ignacy Świętycki, Digital Economy Team Head from the Polish Economic Institute to discuss the most recent research regarding the levels of Polish robotization and the role it plays in the country's economy. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. So to begin with, the region actually did pretty well uh, in the research uh, that you presented in your report. Poland is sixth when it comes to the number of industrial robots and the Czech Republic comes fifth. So could you tell us a little bit more about the results and the actual significance of the figures? What we look into in the report is uh, one thing is the number of the of the industrial robots that are in the economy. And Poland's, of course, a large economy, so we have a lot of robots. We have over, over 17,000 industrial robots um, used in Polish factories, which gives us the sixth place in the EU. But then we look into the density of robots, which is a more important figure, which means we take the number of robots and we divide it by the number of uh, workers in the in, in a given sector or, or in the manufacturing sector as a whole. And then Poland um, goes back to, to 16th place in the, in the EU, which means means that, uh, that the density of robots is not as high in Poland as in other countries in Europe. It's, of course, much lower than in Sweden or, G or Germany, which are European leaders, but Poland with f uh, around 54 robots per 10,000 employees in the manufacturing sector is also, the, the density is also two or three times lower than in other Visegrad four countries, uh, Czech, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia or Hungary. And can you tell us what are the main obstacles when it comes to perhaps boosting uh, this density and perhaps what has got in the way so far when it comes to uh, the figures that you've mentioned? Well, well, first of all, we have to remember that the number of robots and the density of robots is growing in Poland. So the, the Polish uh, companies, the Polish factories are more and more robotized. But still... Um, I think one of the, the I think that there are two main factors which we point to in the in the report. First one is uh, is a general uh, labor cost. The, the Poland still has very low labor costs when we compare it with with other European countries. If, if we look at average um, our hourly wage, for example, and this is of course a, a very important factor when one looks at the um, uh, economic benefits and costs of, of buying a machine such as a robot. Uh, that then it's in, in Poland it's, it's often cheaper to to keep workers um, in the factory than to than to buy. A new machine, a new, a new robot. So, so this is one factor. But, 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 but this, this one is, is, uh, will be dimin dim diminishing. The cost of labor will be going up. The, the demography also has its toll. I mean, there are less and less people entering the labor market. So it's more, more and more difficult for companies to, to find new employees. And this is a natural way where they look into automatization and, uh, and robotization. And the other factor, I think, is, a, um, is kind of a mental barriers, in, uh, which is quite... Um, prevalent in, in Polish entrepreneurs. We, we see this also when we look in, in, in other our research related to digitization of Polish companies, where also many entrepreneurs say they, that they don't really see the benefit of buying digital tools or of investing in, in new machines, new, new robots. So, so, and this barrier is much more difficult to overcome, I would say. Uh, there probably needs to be some uh, governmental support changing the, the attitude of, of entrepreneurs, um, allowing them or helping them to invest more, to take on, to take on more risks. But you mentioned uh, this idea of uh, perhaps a reluctance to purchase robots, but essentially at the end of the day, uh, Polish entrepreneurs will have to, uh, will have to catch up with the rest of Europe, will have to catch up with the, with the rest of the world. As you say, uh, you know, the demographics will impose that upon them. Uh, but also just going back to uh, labor costs, uh, it's a little bit of a, a false economy, shall we say, because at the end of the day, uh, purchasing robots will allow perhaps for the creation of new jobs. Would you agree with that? Well, uh, yes. When we look at uh, the results of our re report, where we have the uh, one part is the number of the, of the, of, the of, of robots, but the other part of the report is devoted to the opinions and the, the attitudes of, of um, uh, industry leaders. And they, what, what they say when it comes to the, uh, the development of the um, of number of workers that they have is that really, if they take on more robots, they gain market share. They can produce more with the same amount of people. So they are either keep employment or even increase employment if their market share rises. Uh, enough so uh, on a uh, on the company level it's true that one uh, often can see that the number of employees is rising when it comes with the with the increase of robotization of course it's not the same type of employment the robots can substitute substitute people on the production line with more with most um, repetitive boring um, um, physical tasks so they need to reskill those people they and they hire or reskill people to higher paid better jobs um, 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 Overview of robots, quality control, this type of work. So I, it allows I for well. more opportunities, essentially. 
Yes, th that's what we see in our report, yes. And in terms of uh, the robotization of various industries, can you tell us a little bit more about how robotized various industries in Poland are? Well, it is a very uh, diversified picture. The, the most robotized um, branch of the industry is, is automotive sector, and it's the same in, in most of European countries. Uh, this is, of course, due to the fact that the, the way that cars are, are produced, that there's long production line with many repetitive uh, physical tasks, assembly, uh, and so on, painting, and so on. And this, is, this all can easily be done by, by robots. And this is, by the way, also the reason why uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Hungary have more robots per number of workers in Poland, because their manufacturing sector is much more is a much larger part of the economy than in Poland. So, so this is, the, this is uh, the, the, the top industry that is robotized. On, on the second place in Poland, it's production of rubber and uh, other plastic uh, materials. And on the, first, uh, on the third place, it's production of pharmaceuticals. And is there potential for more industries to be robotized as well? Well, you can say that everything, every production can be robotized. It just depends on the cost. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, for sure there would be more robots. We would be catching up with the rest of Europe. But it all depends on the, uh, on the underlying trends, the demography, the labor costs, and the uh, mental attitude of entrepreneurs. And in terms of uh, Polish companies, uh, is the reluctance, uh, does it come from a lack of awareness? Are there not enough incentives, perhaps? Well, it's um, hard to say. I mean, th there are some incentives in Poland. Uh, there is a, a tax relief when, when, when a company purchases an, an industrial robot. It's not that often used. The question is why maybe there are, it needs to be uh, looked at, maybe it needs to be better prepared, or maybe th there's not enough awareness in, in companies. But, but when we look in, uh, in, in other uh, sectors of, of, of where my team works, I mean, is, we look at, at broader digitization of the economy of use of other digital tools, we see that, that the People say that they, they don't really see the need to, to invest, to develop their companies, and to buy new, new um, uh, digital or, in this, in this situation, new industrial robots. Uh, also, uh, in, um, if we look at the, at the general investment levels in the Polish economy, they are quite low. Uh, and this is a challenge for years, how to, how to uh, increase investments and in, capital investments in Poland. But there is an awareness that if there is an investment in robotization, that there may be an overall increase in the competitiveness of the Polish market and therefore foreign investment may increase as well. That it's a long-term domino effect. On, on a general level, yes, but, but this is not an argument that is made by, the, by a, a small company mm -hmm. somewhere in uh, Podlasia or, or elsewhere. Right? The, the, they don't really think in terms of the competitiveness of the, of the whole economy. They, they often look at their, at their local market, their customers, and if their market share is, is satisfi satisfying for them, they may not see uh, this type of, uh, of opportunities. Um, of course, when, when you, you mentioned foreign investments, this is also an, an important aspect of our research. We see that the companies that are most uh, digitized and most uh, often invest in robots are often companies with foreign capital or companies which compete in foreign markets. Because this is, uh, if they are also, um, uh, th if they join uh, in international production chains, they need to uh, prove that they have high quality, they can uh, deliver a lot of products with the same quality, and, and this, is, this is where they use robots. So, so the, more the, the more the company is open to foreign markets, the more it exports, the more it competes on foreign micro markets, the more it sees that, that it's beneficial and it's crucial for them to, to invest in robots. Does your research perhaps suggest that broadening a robot base, uh, whether on a smaller scale or on a wider scale, would suggest that people would lose their jobs? Uh, no, I would say to the contrary. I mean, we, we, what we saw, what we see, and what is uh, one of the strands of, of, um, of uh, academic research in the literature related to robots is that robotization can keep or can increase uh, increase. Um, number of workers. It, of course, as, as I said before, it's maybe different ki kinds of jobs. It may be more difficult to enter the labor market. I mean, the, the, the entry level jobs, basic jobs, may be absent because they may be taken uh, by robots. What we also see in the, um, uh, in our qu in the questionnaires that, that we did with, the, with Polish entrepreneurs is that they say that, uh, that there is low level of technical um, education in Poland. And this is also a barrier because they cannot find specialists that, that would you know, uh, do physical work for them which, which, we, which we really need, even if they have robots. So perhaps also education is an area that needs to be addressed. For sure, technical context. education, yes, um, for sure. Okay, Ignacy Święcicki, Digital Economy Head from the Polish Economic Institute. Thank you very much for joining Thank us today. Thank you very much. And that brings us to the end of today's edition of Business Arena. I was your host, Marie Cato. Make sure you join us again on Friday at 10 past five here on TVP World. Goodbye.